this video, we look at how to stop procrastinating instantly by using ideas from what's known as the progress principle, a concept from authors and psychologists Teresa Amabile and Stephen Kramer. Here you'll understand how to stop procrastinating and equally, why the idea of progress is so critical to being productive. Now, before we begin discussing how to stop procrastinating, it's first important to understand why you procrastinate. It's commonly believed that people understand the act of procrastination to be a form of laziness or lack of discipline. While it's understandable why people would believe this, it's not quite true, as psychologists have generally found that procrastination is a natural coping mechanism with the negative feelings and moods related to taking some kind of action. So simply put, procrastination is an emotion regulation problem. Therefore, the odd occurrence of procrastinating isn't actually harmful and can be somewhat beneficial. After all, we're putting off a task for our immediate emotional needs. However, the problem arises from the fact that procrastination makes us feel good as we feel a sense of momentary relief from putting off a task. As we're biologically hardwired to do things that make us feel good, we naturally procrastinate more and it becomes a vicious cycle. The problem here is that while we might feel short term relief, we're equally aware of the long term consequences of putting off actions that we need to take, meaning that ultimately, we feel even worse as we know the costs of procrastination, leading to mental and physical health issues. This is where the progress principle can come in to be useful as it focuses on our emotional needs when working to feel motivated to complete tasks in front of us and feel a sense of satisfaction when doing so. So let's take a deeper look into why progress is so important. We've already identified the importance of emotions and feelings when it comes to procrastination, and the more you care towards your emotional needs, the less likely you'll be to procrastinate. However, as part of that, we also need to focus on other areas, not least our perceptions on what occurs and our motivation for doing a task. Perception is something that particularly affects people when they work in an organisation, as a negative perception of the organisation, such as a lack of trust in how long they will keep you employed, will negatively impact your work and productivity. However, it's not limited to a corporate setting. Rather, if you have a negative perception of completing an individual task and the influence it can have, that too will impact productivity. Then we also need to consider motivation, which can be split into three categories. Intrinsic motivation or the satisfaction we get from doing our work. Extrinsic motivation, the rewards of completing a task, whether it be positive feedback or pay. And relational motivation which is how our actions influence others. And here's the thing, progress directly influences your emotions, perceptions and motivation to how you approach your work. When researching the progress principle, employees of organisations were asked to keep a diary of each day, with positive entries often correlating with a sense of progression in work, whether it be completing a challenging task or overcoming a problem. So. If you want to avoid procrastination, you need to feel a sense of progression in your work. Now here's the amazing thing, your progress doesn't need to be big, rather it can be something quite small and you'll feel a similar sense of satisfaction. If you keep making small, incremental bits of progress, this gets the ball rolling and momentum builds. The question here becomes, how do you apply the principle? As mentioned already. The factors you need to consider when taking on a task is to make sure you meet your emotional needs and have clear reason for embarking on the task you're about to undertake. To do this, it's important to set your state by doing something that prepares you for work and motivates you to take action. This doesn't have to be anything big, for example for me it's simply to listen to a song that motivates me, while thinking about why I'm doing the task and the benefits doing it will bring. You see. This puts me in a positive frame of mind, essentially helping me to get emotionally geared up to take on the task, and helps me to understand the value of taking action. From here, you want to break down the task into small manageable goals, with clear milestones to reach. 
these act as catalysts to making meaningful progress and motivating you in your work. And don't forget, the milestones for a sense of progression don't need to be big, rather keep them small and realistically achievable. Finally, when you do reach a milestone, give yourself a reward as nourishment to your achievement and sense of progression. This doesn't have to be big, as it could be something as small as taking a short break, or if you've achieved all your tasks in the day, then a small reward. In organisations, this might be the acknowledgement of good work. The point is that by breaking down tasks, understanding the purpose and value of doing them, and rewarding yourself on completion of the tasks, you'll make small, incremental progress towards big goals, and ultimately, kick the habit of procrastinating. Are you aware of the progress principle? Let me know in the comments. If you want more content to help you live life on your terms, be sure to click on the videos on screen now. Thanks for watching.